Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing a all haul, anti haul new makeup releases. So I'm just gonna go on, like I normally do, I go on True Moods page, and I just go through all the latest makeup releases that have been released out, the holiday, mainly holiday releases, because that's what we got going on here. But there is like some other stuff sprinkled in. Here we have a release, and I know I didn't talk about this last time, from Urban Decay. And I have to talk about it because I, I looked at it and I just overlooked it thinking it was some other brand. I didn't even think this was them. <laughs> but this is Urban Decay. Um, okay. And they're collabing with Marvel Studios Eternals collection. <laughs> it includes an eyeshadow palette for $65. Oh my gosh. But it's like one of their ones where they have like the, where you open it up and it's got the pop-up thing. I mean, it says that it features a 3D pop-up element and 15 new shades. An afterglow illuminating highlighter for $26, which is a rich bronze. Oh, there's two different ones. So one's a rich bronze with a micro shimmer and the other is Unimind, which is a rich gold with copper and gold shimmer. Which those are perfect for like medium to deep skin tones. So I like that they have those highlighters. I th wish they would have come up with one more because I would never be able to wear either one of those highlighters because both of them would be too dark for me. It's not going to work for fair shades, but medium to deep it will. Then they have their 24 7 Glide On Waterproof Eye Pencil, which is $22. Um, it's going to come in Cosmic Mission, which is a smoky purple with violet and fuchsia micro sparkles. Oh, I kind of like the sound of that one. Then they have one Cosmic Energy with gold shimmer and gold micro sparkles. I don't know why I'm saying sparkles so different. <laughs> then you have Cosmic Speed, which is going to be a deep black with a glitter finish. And then Cosmic Eternal, which is a blue shimmer with blue and purple micro sparkles. Ooh, I like the sound of Cosmic Mission and Cosmic Internal. Those ones sound good. And I have used their 24-7 Glide On eye pencils before in my waterline. They're really pretty. And they stay really good in your waterline. At least they do in mine. And it says there's going to be lipsticks and glitter gels for face and body and gold and silver. It's going to be available October 1st, which I think is tomorrow. <clears throat> so, I feel like this is nothing revolutionary. Like, it's a neutral palette with pops of blue, pop of green. There's a yellow there. I see what looks like a red. I think it's cute how they have like the little 3D pop up, but I also think it's going to be bulkier packaging, which I'm not here for the bulky packaging. I don't like bulky packaged things. It just doesn't appeal to me. The fact that it's a collab with Marvel appeals with me, but that's about all that appeals to me. <laughs> so here next we have, it looks like it's from She Glam. Is that the one from Shein? It's a sun sculpt liquid bronzer. It will give you that post sun glow and coveted contour. The formula is moisturizing, waterproof, long wearing, smudge proof, and blendable with a matte finish. Apply all over the face for a full on tan on your cheeks, nose for sculpting. And it's only going to be $5. I mean, it looks cute. I feel like the applicator is weird. It's like a little triangle puffy applicator. It looks interesting. I understand they have like a blush it's like this too. So it does come in four different shades. Soft Tan, Golden Sun, Warm Honey, and Camel Suede. And I think they did do a good job at the shade ranges. So it definitely has the one that will work on more fair skin tones. It has like a neutral one and soft tan. A golden one is going to work on more um, light medium skin tones. And then you have... Warm Honey, which looks like it'll definitely work on warm, medium, or medium deep skin tones. I think that Camel Suede looks like it would work on deeper skin tones. Maybe not the deepest of deep. But I'm not going to pick it up. I think it's a good price, though. $5 is not bad for a liquid, <laughs> liquid bronzer. It must be, I guess, She Glam's kind of like drugstore prices. I won't be picking it up, but I think it looks super cute. Here we have from Colourpop a new release. 
it's already out it came out i think yesterday didn't it it, or maybe it's not out yet because this is revealed. It's the Orchid Collection, which when I first looked at this, I thought it looked like the one and only palette. And I was like, mmm. <laughs> but I've already seen. So annoying. These people walking around above us. And I know you can hear it in the video. That's the people that live above us. Because we're on the second floor. We have people on the third floor. And this is an old building, so when they walk around, you can hear the creaking. <laughs> But this um, Orchid collection, the Orchid Do Not <laughs> palette, I thought looked a lot like one and only at first. But I've seen already people that get this in PR do looks with it. And it looks freaking gorgeous. If I had the money, I would probably get the palette. That, um, because it has the Ashida palette. Which doesn't have any, um, pressed glitters or... Um, mattes with glitter in it. It's just a matte and shimmery shades palette. It does have pressed pigments. I know that there's some pigment warnings on it. But it's going to come with lippy sticks, um, color sticks, pressed powder blushes, and soul body shimmering body powder. It doesn't say when it's coming. But maybe it'll be in a, because I went forward a little bit maybe it'll be forward when it comes but I would definitely if I had the money pick up the palette the lighter blush because I think that lighter blush looks really cute I like that they have a deeper blush to work on deeper skin tones too and the highlight the highlight looks so gorgeous <laughs> I really want the highlight too even though it might be slightly too dark on me I could probably use that highlight to um be like a blush so it looks like Glossier is coming out with these monochromatic palettes. It's a refillable compact, 10 shades. Each palette includes three different finishes, matte, metallic, and satin. So there's only three shades in each palette, okay? Think about that. <laughs> with reusable and 100% recyclable tins <clears throat> and removable mirrors. So it's $22 for the palette and to refill is $18. It's going to come in clay, which is a terracotta, buff, which is a peachy pink, heather, which is a rosy color, mist is a lilac, jute is a taupe, almond is a brown, prairie is olive, rosin is a golden shade, mesa is an orange, and teak is a chocolate brown. I think it's a good concept for the Glossier girl who usually likes more natural makeup and doesn't want to go too heavy on their eyes but I think $22 is kind of expensive for just three shades I mean you could get this by getting the four shades from elf for three dollars and the little bite sized duo some of these look like they could get the color out of that so I would not pick it up but I do think it's a cute concept and it's definitely going to work out for people who are the Glossier people. <laughs> I'm just not that person. As you can tell by my eye look today, I like more for my eye look. <laughs> so next we have Jaclyn Hill. She's collabing with Morphe again. There's another palette. It looks like the, the little palettes that she did before. This one is called Divine Neutrals. It's just a neutral brown palette with some golds, bronzes. Looks half shimmery, half matte. Palette with 12 neutral shades, 6 shimmery, 6 mattes for $18. Oh, it's available today. I don't understand why. Why she collabed with Morphe again when she has her own brand. She did this palette for her own brand, in my opinion. I'm not going to pick it up because just palettes like that just don't appeal to me. But, I mean, if that is something that you're looking for is a neutral palette, I do think it's a really good price for 18 shades or 12 shades for $18. It's a good price. The swatches look cute. Looks like the shimmery shades are going to look really nice if that's for you. Next, we have a Makeup Revolution. We talked about Makeup Revolution last time in Corpse Bride. Now, we have Makeup Revolution and... The Simpsons Treehouse of Horror Collection. 
So the collabing with The Simpsons, they have so many things here. There's like some miniature eyeshadow palettes. There's one giant eyeshadow palette. There's one, like, it looks like a duo of, there's so much stuff. A mini highlighter palette, which is Witch Lisa, $15. Mini shadow palette, Raven Bart, $15. Mini shadow palette, Alien Maggie, $15. Lip kit, Vampire Mr. Burns, $15. Lip Kit Devil Flanders, $15. Lip Kit Donut Head Homer, $15. Face Palette Spectacular, $15. Shadow Palette Spectacular, $25. Donut Head Homer Blending Sponge, $8. Gruesome Gel Liner in Witch Lisa is $10. They have one in Raven Bart, which is $10. There's a Couch Bag, which is $18. A Witch Marge Lash Duo for $15. Alien Slime Primer for $14. A Gel Slime Lip Mask in Kodos. And they have one in Kang for $8 each. And the Boudar Govan Brush Set for $25 each. That's a lot of stuff. I mean, the Alien Slime Primer sounds interesting. <laughs> it literally looks Alien Slime-like. You can see it in the right-hand corner. It looks green. I wonder how that is. But I think it's too expensive for Makeup Revolution and their low quality eyeshadows. They're very, not very pigmented. You really have to build them up. The shimmers are nothing spectacular. I think ColourPop is better. I even think, I'm trying to think of somebody else besides ColourPop. Because these are up there with ColourPop prices. And then they have a sponge that's a donut. I get the concept, but... How are you supposed to how are you supposed to use a donut sponge to apply your foundation? It's going to be weird because it's got a hole in the middle. So it's not like it's, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I don't know about this collection. <sighs> I mean, the highlighter looks cute. The face palette looks cute. I love the brushes because they're like that alien green and the top is like black so it looks kind of like they're glow in the dark brushes it's like that glow in the dark green on the bottom with the black on top i really like that and i do like the face palette that has the highlight the blush and the bronzer it looks like something that will work for me it's 15 dollars though i think it's kind of expensive so i like the face palette i like the brushes would i use them probably not if i realistically picked up anything in this collection it would be the face palette and probably the um alien slime primer because i think that just sounds very interesting but i definitely think 14 dollars for a primer is expensive i have no room to talk though because i bought that nyx marshmallow primer and it was like 15 dollars or 16 dollars or something but i really like it <laughs> So, overall, I think this collection is too expensive for Makeup Revolution. I think Makeup Revolution needs to stop. They need to stop releasing, like, the color pop and at least get their formula, fix their formula. Make a better formula. Make more pigmented mattes. Make your shimmer shades more metallic, more shimmery, more with today's, up with the par of today's metallic and shimmers. They just charge too much and they're just not very good quality. So essentially you're paying for the packaging and the Simpsons name on the product. Okay, I think I'm done now. <laughs> so next we have, oh it's MAC Cosmetics. <laughs> MAC Cosmetics and they're collabing with Rosalia. I don't know who that is. It looks like Rosalia Atuk Couture. Couture. And at first I thought this was Dior. It legit, they have their logo like Dior. Anyways, they have lipsticks for $21 a piece. Four different ones. There's four different liquid lipsticks for $24. Two different nail ornaments for $35. And then they have one, two, three, four, five, six. Nail lacquers for $25. The R Picks Extra Dimension Skin Finish Palette, $60. The R Eyeshadow Palette, $50. No. 
but that face palette looks so much like it looks like the Dior emblem <laughs> the Dior backstage face palettes so I feel, I'm feeling like a little copycat vibes here I don't know if this is their their holiday collection but I think it just looks basic it looks like your basic everyday colors even the eyeshadow palette nothing I would buy I'm just not interested in MAC and MAC doesn't interest me so I'm definitely not going to be even thinking about picking that up so next we have Tower 28 they released the Sunny Days SPF Tinted Sunscreen Foundation it's a 2-in-1 mineral sunscreen foundation with SPF 30 light medium buildable coverage and a natural finish that's safe for sensitive or problem skin evens redness with non nano zinc oxide prickly pear extract and white sage extract fragrance free it's gonna be 30 dollars it says it's gonna be available october 12th i mean i'm interested i think they do have a good amount of shade ranges i like that i like that they have a better shade range it looks like it looks like it even spread across light medium and deep skin tones I can even see a shade for like the fairest affair. I'm interested. I'm interested. Thirty dollars, I think, is kind of expensive for a foundation. I guess it's about average price of the mid mid price foundations. So I would be interested in picking it up, but I don't. I'm trying to be trying to go on a no buy and just pick up every once in a while something. I'm trying not to consume as much, so. <clears throat> so now I'm just going to talk about them in my haul and anti-haul videos instead of actually hauling them myself. <laughs> so I do want that, but I don't know if I'll pick it up. But next we have from Glam Light. It's called the Hoppy, Hoppy, <laughs> the Happy Hour Collection. It's a cocktail inspired collection by Glam Light. You have the wine palette, which looks like a purple palette. I want that one. Okay. You have the dirty martini palette, which I also want that one because that one's a green palette. It looks so cute. I want that one. <laughs> then you have the um, chocolate martini palette, which is like your neutral palette. And then you have the strawberry margarita palette, which is just like your colorful palette. Like it's all different oranges pinks it has some greens in there some blues a little bit everything the only ones that are kind of monochromatic is the uh, wine one and the martini one dirty martini is kind of monochromatic a little bit i do like the i like the icon law if i had money i would be picking up the wine one and the dirty martini one i don't have money though so i won't be picking them up it's going to be available today but it doesn't say how much it's going to cost I know Glam Light, I've heard Glam Light has an awesome eyeshadow formula and their um, shimmers look out of this world sparkly and amazing. So, if I had money, yes, I would be picking that up. Next, we have this new collection, Products and Shades, made by Ma Mitchell. We have the Milk Palette. Which is 25 pans for 40. And the only thing that looks like milk is the packaging. Because the packaging looks like a cow. I don't get him. The, the graphic ink liners. And 8 shades for $12. Blur sh 3 new shades for $14. Blending sponge for $6. Limited edition large makeup organizer for $45. Limited edition travel makeup organizer case. $35 limited edition brush organizer case $25 no it's another brand that just doesn't interest me made by Mitchell doesn't interest me next <laughs> we have the the ultra suede lip collection by makeup by Mario matte lipstick is super comfortable with a soft suede like feel weightless long lasting and features a blurring effect for a soft focus finish Duo seed oil moisturizes and softens lips for a non-drying, ultra-comforting feel. Unique blend of waxes, 
creates a super sensational, almost addictive glide across your pout. Man, they make it sound really good. <laughs> Blur filter technology for a soft focus appearance. That's a long lasting coverage. 20 shades, 20 different shades for $24 a piece. I think $24 is about this price for, like, for, for lipsticks. I was going to say it seems expensive, but, but that's about the price for the lipsticks. I'm just not, I'm the same way with um, Makeup by Mario that I am with MAC. I feel like it's just the packaging and everything just doesn't appeal to me. It feels like it's more of like a professional makeup brand. And I like my packaging to look like this. I want my packaging, like the ever. I guess I'm, I feel like the everyday person wants a nice special packaging, whereas this is more like, I guess, clean packaging. I don't know how to put it. It's just, it doesn't interest me. I need, I'm the, I'm a packaging whore and I need cute packaging. That is what gets me to buy is cute packaging. So that's what I need. <laughs> so next, <laughs> next we have, oh, it's a sneak peek from. So it looks like next we have a sneak peek from ColourPop's Holiday Drop. It looks like there's four nine pan eyeshadows, which looks like shades that we've already seen. And it looks like maybe some of the lip creams or the glossy lip stains. It says they're coming soon to Ulta. I mean, it looks like, like the one looks like the Bye Bye Birdie palette. The other one looks like the Baroque palette. One of these looks like... Sweet Talk palette or the Peach palette. It just looks like ones that they've done before and recycled the shades. I'm, I'm definitely not going to be picking it up. <laughs> looks like we have a view of Max Holiday Collection has been revealed. It includes a shade shifter duo from eyeshadows, Ho Ho Hocus right before your eyes, calling your bluff perplexing behind the curtain PowerPoint eye pencils and glosses, lipsticks, lashes, face palettes, glow duos, brushes, and more. It says it's going to be available October through November on their website. And I like, I appreciate that they try to give this like, I don't know, a candy cane type of look to it or something. I don't like the packaging though. I don't like that. <laughs> I just don't like it. The red with the black and white like swirl on it. To, I'm assuming they're trying to be like candy canes. It's just no. Like I said, Mac just doesn't appeal to me. And it still doesn't appeal to me. <laughs> I'm sure it appeals to somebody, but it's just I'm not their target audience. <clears throat> and here we have one last one that I see. And this is from Makeup Revolution. Except for this is the, looks like the XX Revolution version of Makeup Revolution. And it's collabing with The Matrix. The Matrix. So you have the Trinity Luxe Shadow Palette for $25. Morpheus Luxe Shadow Palette for $25. XX Neo Shadow Palette for $35. Prophecy, Prophecy Lip Set for $12. Simulation Lip Set for $12. System Failure Liquid Eyeliner for $12, Anomaly Loose Pigment Mascara for $20, Deja Vu Lengthening Mascara for $12, A Brush Set for $24, Face Pads for $14, Cosmetic Mesh Bag Set for $20, Cosmetic Case for $25, and Oracle Cosmetic Sponge Set for $14. That was a mouthful. What, what is with Makeup Revolution and when I come out with their collection or their collab with somebody, there's like 10 million things that they have and none of it's good. Okay, the first thing I have to say is none, not even one, not even one of these palettes looks like the Matrix. It looks like a regular eyeshadow palette. They just slapped the Matrix logo on it and added some green and here you go. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm not interested. I'm still at Makeup Revolution. You need to stop. You need to take a break from releasing. You need to reformulate your eyeshadows. 
especially your eyeshadows because those are the worst offenders of all your formulas at least uh, take a step back or formulate your eyeshadows and then you can come back better than ever but to keep releasing so much is just ridiculous especially when the when you're raising the prices this high and it's still like not it's not like the formula is better it's not like it's a newer better formula that warrants the price tag so make a revolution stop <laughs> rethink your choices and then come back again another day <laughs> But anyways, if this Matrix collection really interests you, it's going to be available October 6th online on XX Revolution's website. But it doesn't interest me. Anyways, that is it for my video today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this <laughs> look at the latest holiday releases that have been teased or released and everything else let me know what holiday collections have you seen so far that you're interested in i'm curious if any of these are interesting anybody because right now i'm falling asleep at color pops holiday collection i'm falling asleep at pretty much everybody's holiday collection so far there's not one that's really jumped out at me and thought oh i need that collection besides pat mcgrath i do like the pat mcgrath palette and I got the ColourPop Hocus Pocus collection, of course, because that jumped out to me. But that wasn't really, I guess, it, well, it's a Halloween release. So it is a holiday palette. But we're talking, like, Christmas palettes. A lot of them are putting me to sleep. I'm not interested in any of them so far. So I'm curious to see, as releases come out, if there'll be anything better. I doubt it. <laughs> But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up down below. And if you're not yet subscribed, I would greatly appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. And next to the subscribe button is the bell. You can ring that bell if you want to be notified of all my future uploads. That way you'll never miss out on one of my haul or anti-haul videos. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, night, weekend, whenever it is you're watching this. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.